we're going to open it up. You see how many scans it takes to register back in. Okay, it's not there upon initial opening, it's there. Okay, that's how quick it took. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Um, I'm Eric, welcome. This is the Hollow Herald. Today we're gonna be doing a breaking reality video. We're going to be testing, uh, it's gonna be a quick video, we're gonna be testing what happens when you put a hologram in the fridge. Is that right? Yeah, we're gonna be testing if, what happens when you put a hologram in the fridge. We've officially run out of ideas. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna test it out with a closet first. We're gonna open the holograms app. Put it up there. So we got a closet right there. It's opened. I've already scanned in the inside of it. So first we're going to test what happens if it's already scanned in. And then we're just going to walk to the fridge, not scan it in, open it in, close the door, see what happens. I don't know how well it's going to translate to video because it only films through the right eye. So it might not seem like it's behind the wall, but I'll tell you guys what I think it is. Okay, well, it decided to grab that, so we're just going to put a tiger. So we're going to walk over here. Open this up, open this up, alright, let's go see if we can get him in there. Okay, we're going to put him right on the pillow, pardon how filthy our closet is. Okay, so he is placed there. I'll go ahead and show you what's mapped in around there. So, yep, there's a tiger sitting right there. It's going to go ahead and we're going to close this door. And we're going to close this door. And he's still there a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rescan in. And he's gone. Okay, so I had to rescan because it's not the HoloLens doesn't do a constant scan. It refreshes every time it sees a change in the room. So it only took it half a second to respond. But it to me it's completely gone right now. I don't know what it looks like in the video, but it's completely not there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna open it up again. Do a quick scan, and he's back. How cool is that? So uh, we just had to do a quick scan, and he's totally there. This is within a this is within a pre-scanned area. So we're, let's go ahead and we're gonna test it real quick. Uh, just throwing it in a fridge without scanning it or anything, just in case you're in a new building or something like that. But pretty cool. Worked actually really well. I'm impressed. All right, so we're over here in our tiny little break room, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open the fridge. I actually don't know what's in there. Probably should have checked that before we started filming. Anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, so I'll show you guys what I have scanned in. I've just scanned in the outside. I have not opened the fridge and tested it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up. Grab the holograms up. Put it right there. What should we test this time? What's something you would normally put in a fridge? Uh, uh, T Rex. No. Yay. We're just gonna do a rainbow, because why not? Okay, so I've got the rainbow. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up the fridge. There's a pizza and a bunch of stuff in there. We're gonna see if we can scan. Okay, it looks like I might have to select. I'm gonna scan it in real quick. Okay. Select, uh, adjust, adjust. All right, so I got the hologram. I'm gonna go ahead and move it. I just scanned it in a little bit. We're gonna put it in there. Okay, so now to the you to the camera, it might done. To the camera, it might not look like it's in there, but from my perspective, it looks like it's in the fridge. As real as that pizza, as real as all that other stuff, it looks like it's with inside the fridge. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna scan, we're gonna close the door. Okay, it's hidden for half a second. So it still looks like it's showing up. Let's go ahead, we're gonna rescan. Hmm, interesting. It's getting there with every scan. So you can still see it looks like it's in there. This might look really funky for the camera perspective. For me, I can still see it. I can also still see all the shelf workings and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to scan around it and see if we can make it think that it's not in there. All right. It looks like, from this perspective, completely gone. If I come over here, 
I can still see it a little bit through the cracks. I'm gonna assume it's because it's so dark right in between there. I couldn't really scan and think that there's a wall there, but it's getting there. Okay, anyways, okay. Basically completely gone from my view. So it took a little bit more of an effort. I'm gonna assume it's because the lighting's not as good and the whiteness of it maybe threw it off and how small of a space it is. Where's the closet spick? We're gonna open it up. You see how many scans it takes to register it back in. Okay, it's not there upon initial opening, it's there. Okay, that's how quick it took. That's how quick it rescanned and remembered the area and did it. So, yeah, that was pretty quick actually. Besides the scans that it took to rescan it again, that wasn't too bad. Closed. Scan again. And it's freaked out a little bit. So in conclusion, the Hollands actually handled it really well, surprisingly. I was not expecting it to map it so fast, because it doesn't really detect changes in the scenery extremely well. It does pretty good at it though. Uh, it, I was really surprised by how quick it did the closet. I think that's because I pre-scanned it in, which in normally most settings in a house or an office setting, it would be pre-scanned in, so the second test is a little bit unfair. But it, was, but it still handled it well. Going over to the fridge, the second test, uh, it kind of struggled a little bit, and I don't know if that's due to the small space we were in, the lighting, or the the color of the fridge, or the size of the room, or the darkness of the room, or the tightness of the fridge, but it still handled it well. It took a little bit of finagling, but I eventually scanned it all out and did it. Sorry if this didn't translate to video super well. I tried to explain it a little bit. Uh, if you enjoyed this Breaking Reality, uh, go ahead and share it and leave comments below. If you didn't like it, comment. If you didn't like it, dislike it. If you liked it, dislike it, you know, whatever you feel. Uh, if you have any breaking reality ideas, stuff as silly or as, as silly as this or as complex as some of our other ones have gotten, Holland's in motion, how many holograms does it take to crash, leave them all down below. We'll do anything. This is kind of a do-all, test whatever you want with the Holland's. And yeah, catch us in the next one.